Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I found out that you're, uh, you, you like that fancy name. I am Konstantinos Kaminaris. I am from Greece. If you don't know where is Greece, just uh, Google it. It's the best place on earth. And uh, the name is because, first of all, I would like to, 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 to thank you for being here. I am excited to present here in Las Vegas. And of course, I'm just about VCF, okay? Uh, okay, so when I was doing some presentation in Europe, I've asked uh, my mom, mom, what do I have to present? Uh, I'm going to present at Las Vegas. And she says, why don't you present about VCF? Of course, my mom doesn't know about VCF, not at all. She just knows how to open and close the smartphone. And this is way up for him. So let's talk, talk something about VMware Cloud Foundation. Uh, this is, a, let's say, a French name, Potpourri, of what I found out about VCF and what is uh, nice about that. VCF, first of all, is a set of tools and technology that provide us a software design uh, perspective into our uh, data centers uh, while managing our private and public cloud with this tool. Uh, one of the best things in VCF is that it is a consistent infrastructure and consistent architecture across the entire environment on all the sites that you can have. Come and join us. Uh, it's a single multi-cloud farm. You, you can see that I am a QR coder. Uh, so if you want to scan it, it will show you the VCF release and in the other slide you find other information. Uh, so as a single multi-cloud multi platform, it gives us uh, hyper-converged infrastructure uh, and, uh, oh, hello, and uh, it mo that modernizes our data center and our containerized uh, application. Sorry about that. I just have my water there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So with VCF, we can separate our workloads into management and application respectively. This is where VMware products works better together and uh, can give us an, uh, let's say, uh, a way to, to, to the, 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 the benefits to, of both, of public cloud and uh, private cloud. Uh, and uh, we can, uh, while keeping our data uh, secure and applications. So, ah, okay. Okay, let's change it. At VMware Downloads Broadcom now, sorry, it has 66 uh, downloads uh, and all those products that you can see is only for managing our private and our public cloud as well. Uh, the releases of uh, VCF, if you do not know, it starts from 2.1 back on 2016, the initial, and now we have moving up to 5.2. And uh, till those years, there adds a lot of innovative, innovative uh, things. So, do you know that VCF has open source also? Yeah, it has. And uh, you can find out that in each version, on the previous slide, you will see Broadcom's download. In each session, there is an open source tab where you can find the open source file and, of course, the license. But it's not for production and it's only for testing and labbing, okay? 
So, let's speak about the bill of materials of a VCF environment. VCF delivers a natively integrated SDDC stacks that uh, includes SDDC manager, which is the tool that we can automate all our tasks from bringing it up and uh, till, the, till our provisioning, patching and upgrading, and uh, can help us to simplify our day-to-day -day, uh, task. Uh, then we have vSphere, of course. You all know vSphere. It's a visualization that transforms our data centers into uh, aggregated computer computing uh, infrastructure that includes CPU, storage, and networking resources. Uh, of course, then we have vSAN and vivo. Uh, this help us uh, aggregate our local and direct attacks uh, storage devices into one pool of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, shared storage across all our vSAN cluster to all our hosts, of course. VI workload domains support uh, NSX and also support NSXT platforms. This is the way that you can have networking and security functionality into your environment. Uh, then we have area. VMware area lifecycle suite is uh, with that tool, we can deploy area operation, area automation, and area operation for logs. And uh, with this, we can determine which version of uh, our products are compatible with our VCF version and uh, allows us to upgrade and install and uh, patch only the supported ones. Okay. Then we have. Uh, with uh, using uh, VMware Tanzu integration with VCF, uh, we can deploy and manage uh, VCF Tanzu, VCF with Tanzu, uh, and uh, make our VCF into a platform that runs Kubernetes into our hypervisor layer natively. So we're now at the 5.2, and uh, it has new pool features, of course, and uh, includes integrated uh, data service uh, capabilities and uh, native Kubernetes, where we can that supports and VMware and VI workloads workloads into a single platform. These features are. Um, um, aligned with the three key strategic pillars. The first is uh, modernized data center. The first feature is, of course, VCF import, where we can use it for converting and importing our vSphere and vSAN environment into VCF instance. Uh, we have vSAN Mac support with SSS cluster that uh, offers high storage efficiency and affiliate and resilience. Uh, we have offline depot. This is uh, a nice feature because it can update, it can uh, update our, let's say, isolated and air-gapped environments uh, that cannot be reached other way. We have GPU enhancements uh, scattered for AI and machine learning, of course, uh, demands. Then we have isolated workload domains with shared networking, uh, just to optimize, just to ensure that we can optimize our utilization without compromising security, of course, because they're isolated. Okay, let's put that down. Then we have VMware Cloud Foundation Edge, where we can uh, extend our capabilities into all our uh, edge location 
with uh, network assessment and optimization report that provides insight in order to optimize our network performance. Centralized license management, where we're all struggle to find out how we can manage to license our edge and our VCF environment. And the amazing HCX assisted remotion, where we can uh, move our workloads or our VMs from our private cloud to the public cloud and vice versa. The second is a cloud experience for developers where we can use uh, Tanzu Creed as a standalone service to accelerate development cycle with, uh, with uh, cloud admin dashboard and latchpad uh, that uh, it help us managing our uh, resources and automated oral task with uh, self-service uh, VCF automating for DevOps. Also GPU summary for private, so for private AI. Adopting virtual networks reduce the complexity of using all those networks and also help us uh, and give us the possibility of adopting networks segmentation and management with increased uh, with increased log analytics uh, the new feature of IO trip analyzer cluster provides critical insights for optimizing uh, AI and big data uh, workloads and uh, vSAN as a file share. The third pillar is security and resiliency. And uh, now you can see live patching of uh, an VCF and, and ISXI is doing much better much faster with minimizing operational and uh, the disruption and also without taking too much, too many services down while the host is into a partial maintenance services. That means that some of our VM, VMs or workloads can run. We also have redundancy and uh, load balancing at the edge. We have Entra uh, support and ID support. We have same integration between East and West ransomware and the, uh, the amazing AVI load balancer integration. Uh, some uh, labs are having that. And also, let's say we have dual DPU support and supporting the data processing unit provides either the ability to have the high availability of uh, DPU where it, it, there, there will be an active and standby DPU. So if there is an outages, then all workloads passes to the standby DPU, or we can have uh, uh, double the, the bandwidth by utilizing, utilizing our DPUs and providing double the network throughput. Uh, with that feature also, we have, okay, vSAN data protection and uh, the on-premise and the R threat tracking. This is nice security features. Okay, so if you want to start from somewhere, if you want to start a VCF instance, this is where you have to start. Planning and preparation workbook. It's just uh, an Excel, Microsoft Excel workbook, uh, where we can gather the inputs required in order to bring up a VCF, workload domains and workload management, and of course, uh, VMware area suite lifecycle. It also provides us guidance uh, on the requirements for additional components like Active Directory, uh, uh, Active Directory, IP addressing and networking uh, or 
class or certification that can be added into our VSVF environment. If you can see all those final tabs, you can see that, that they are the VCF validated solution. So these are well architected, uh, technical validated implementation built and uh, tested from VMware and VMware partners and can provide us guidance. Uh, they are designed for to, 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 to build and, and uh, a secure and high performing and resilient and efficient infrastructure with VCF. And uh, each solution provides us guidance of how we can uh, design and implement uh, and, uh, and implement its solution. They divide it into two major categories, the on-premise on validated solution with identity access management, uh, developer ready infrastructure, ra uh, health report and monitoring, intelligent login and analytics, uh, Intelligent operation management, intelligent network visibility, uh, private cloud, site protection and recovery, and advanced load balancing for the on-premise world. After that, we have the second category that is uh, high cloud validated solutions that provide us cloud-based uh, protection solutions, uh, cost-based ransom and recovery, and of course, cross-cloud mobility. Uh, okay, FDDC manager automates and uh, uh, you and uh, implement a task for some of the design decision that we, we saw. But for the rest of them, we have to do it all the task manually. So in order to make it a little bit faster, and, uh, more, and with a more efficient way uh, and uh, in order to automate it also the other task uh, like uh, site protection there are Microsoft PowerShells commandlets uh, using an open source module as code based uh, to complete some certain procedures in its SDDC components user interface now we are in the version 2.11. It's there are previous versions because this is the latest, and each one, uh, of course, this is the QR code where you can find the power solution module. Each of its version, it has a list of supported uh, platform of VCF, a list of supported operating systems, and of course, module dependencies to run these PowerShell commands. Uh, the, the fancy is that we can reuse PowerShell commands by replacing the sample commands that are exported from the VCF planning and preparation workbook. That's an amazing thing. So, the other tool that we have is supportability and serviceability. This is called source utility. This is a command line tool that help us uh, make some uh, to, to run some health checks, either and collect logs from our VCF, including components, uh, tasks, services, and software components, and can be generated, uh, these logs can be generated into our preferred uh, directory. So you can, this is the page of service utility. It collects logs from ESXi, vCenter, SDDC, NSX, workload domains area and it has some test logs for verifying files. We can run source utility into the VMware Cloud Builder, which is the tool that uh, it's, it's an appliance, and we can generate a support bundle in order to uh, help us debug our bring up VCF instance. This is the tool that you need if you want to debug it. Last tool, it's a VCF diagnostic tool. Uh, this is this was formerly known as vSphere diagnostic tools. It's now a multi-product multi diagnostic, diagnostic tool, sorry for that, that can be run into our vCenter appliance immediately, directly. 
Um, it executes a series of checks and uh, it uh, provides us with a report, with a user-friendly report, with uh, fail and pass and uh, warn uh, about, about known configuration issues. It uh, also provides information for, from certain areas and that, that will help us uh, uh, detect inconsistencies uh, more easily. It's a read-only script, so it does not make any changes it's, uh, into our environment. It only adds uh, into our log bundles uh, information and logs and uh, there are no passwords recorded and uh, of course uh, uh, this is a code and it, ha it is non-compiled and uh, it, this is done for, for us to, to review it easier. VD2 has uh, written ground up from, in order to involve from, uh, let's say, a Python script uh, collection to a Python-based health, uh, health reporting framework. So, you have an existing VC, VMware Cloud Foundation. Uh, you can perform a sequential or, let's say, a skip level uh, upgrade for VCF.2, but from only from uh, 5 for 4.5 or later. So if, you have, if your environment is previous than 4... Sorry about that, this is uh, the previous uh, about uh, VCF5, but you can find the upgrading here, so no problem. Um, uh, I was saying that uh, if your environment was previously than uh, 4.5, then you have to upgrade it to 4.5. Uh, so, the first step is to download uh, the bundles that you need to be upgraded. And then, when all the bundles are downloaded into our SDDC manager, we have to upgrade first the management domain and after that our VI workloads domains. Okay. So, VCF training is something that must be done. You can work in order to, to learn some things in VMware Hudson Lab. It has all the tools. It has, uh, it, it has about VMware area. It has about uh, source. It has a new VCF uh, health framework. Uh, and of course, you can uh, read about VCF documentation. And we have VCF communities where we can help you build a VCF or debug it. So, Holodeck Toolkit. Uh, doing training uh, and development directly into our VCF environment can be dangerous. So, uh, it is important for, my, for us to have, let's say, a playground where we can, yeah, where we can uh, test uh, changes and updates uh, without uh, having uh, and uh, the risk to do a mistake and then our VCF uh, uh, falls down. Uh, this is minimize the risk of all that and uh, it can mimic our production environment um, as much as possible. That doesn't mean that uh, uh, you have to build uh, the entire environment with the same hosts but only with one host, you can have all your environment, all your environment. Just uh, it has to have the same architecture and the same design. Are you productive in order for that to work? So uh, it, VCF provides an easy way to deploy VCF nested labs into that environment. So uh, you can play as long as you want. Last, we have license calculator. Who doesn't struggle with licenses? We cannot uh, understand how is, this, is it that going. So this is a PowerShell command, power script command, sorry, that uh, it is created from VMware by Broadcom and help us uh, 
let's say, familiarized with the new subscription portfolio. We can run simulation in order to determine the subscription license required for VCF, VFAN, and VSAN. This was my last. Thank you all for being here. I'm Konstantinos Kaminaris. If you want something, you can find me at the VMAG. I'm a community guy. Uh, please don't uh, forget to take your survey and, of course, to stay connected with Explore. Thank you. I have to, to, to tell you that you can have some reward points if you want to ask, but you can ask me afterwards at the VMAG booth. Thank you, everybody.